Welcome back, everyone, to Korea. Yes. Finally. Fucking finally. Jesus Christ. And look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Pyongyang. And there ain't nothing the bloody Japanese can do about it, finally. Ugh. I think the end of the war is finally in sight. So, very, very happy about this, to be honest. This was a major slog. Uh, I've only very rarely fought, like, such ridiculously long, sloggy wars in this bloody game. There we go! We have taken it. We formed the Vo Korean Volunteer Corps. Finally. Wait. Hold it, please, though. Hold it. There we go! Yes! We're doing it! It's over for Japan. I am actually legitimately fucking happy. Bloody finally. And we've broken through. All right. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anyways, back to the normal music, which isn't nearly as cool as the Korean uh, people's, uh, sorry, not the Korean, the Chinese People's Volunteer Army March that I just played. Certainly one of my favorite pieces of uh, Chinese uh, military music, I would say. Anyways, let's push on down the bloody peninsula. I mean... Let's push on down the bloody peninsula. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to do this bloody third repatriated congress. I mean... I think to trigger the fading sun event we need to reach Busan. So let's try to do that as quickly as possible. We need to take Seoul and Busan, most likely. I mean, the Japanese still have a lot of units out in Northern Korea, so, you know, it's not going to be that easy, unfortunately. The Central Naval Academy, Revolution is won by land, uh, yeah, let's try, let's try to have a navy, I mean, come on. Having a navy doesn't sound like a bad idea, in general. Let's push while the iron is hot, as it would be. And maybe we can cut them off, actually. Oh, and we've actually cored the, uh... We've actually cored Manchuria, that's really good. You know what? I'm starting to get really pissed at all of this shuffling around of divisions. Let's try to control them by hand. So that is a big army by now. There are just a lot of divisions to tell what to do. Push on down. Uh, railway gun? Yeah. Railway gun moved down. Very good. We're gonna move on down. Then we're advancing up the east coast. Where actually Japan like, has a lot of units that are not really not really in a good position, I would say. But you know, that's fine. Um, 
Can we make our own? Ah! Uh, we're gonna need to figure this aircraft shit out. I think after the f end of the Japanese war, because it's a little... Uh, For now, the French aircraft are gonna do, to be honest. Very good. Okay, now if we do this, that is a pretty cool pocket. That is a pretty cool pocket indeed, so I hope that that's going to succeed. Hmm, this 62% is certainly not, certainly not satisfactory. We just need, we need this to win. We need the, we need, just need this victory. It's just necessary. Hmm, we're also getting pushed back near Pyongyang. That's kind of unfortunate. Ah, uh, we're just so close to finishing the war with this pocket. It's gonna be... It's gonna be quite something when we can actually do it, but... Actually, I don't need all these divisions to sit up here. French Republic declared war on the Wadai Empire. Well, I'm so happy about that. Alright, attack, attack, attack! Oh, actually, there's only two divisions here. There's only two divisions here, so maybe these guys, once they come here, can do this or something like that. Okay, uh, train divisions. All right, now we should get ready to kill the Tibetans. If we can spare a couple armies, one for Tibet, one for Mongolia, it should be, it should be enough. Oh, come on, bro. Let's finish this thing. Okay, actually, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. This division should be a lot easier to defeat than all of these fucking guys.
Okay. Okay, come on. No! Where? They're escaping the pocket. This is just a disaster. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. Don't let him escape. No, attack! How long are you going to take to fucking move there? Jesus Christ. Three days. It is such a mess. Come on. Come the fuck on. No, they put more divisions. Ah! I am so angry. I am so fucking angry. Just fucking get in there. Come on. Oh, but it's so bad. Am I overstacking? Yeah, I'm actually overstacking too. Holy shit. Uh, it's such a fucking... It's such a massacre. In general. Feels like this combat bar is never progressing. Well, it wasn't. It fucking wasn't. Oh, and now they're attacking me. The supply situation is once again terrible, even though we don't have train issues anymore. Motorize, please. I don't know, I just don't see my units get getting the organization that they need. But the Japanese do have the organization that they need. It's uh, just a bit... Uh, just a bit problematic, isn't it? There goes Albania. Well, I mean, now I can just attack here. That is the new weak spot, I would suppose. No, it's not. We are unable to break it. At least we have the Korean volunteers. How good are they? Yeah, pretty good. Hey, 
There we fucking go. And we've finally created the pocket that we were looking for this entire time. Alright, we're just gonna hold here. I just don't want these guys escaping. What? How did all of my units get retreated? What the fuck? Anyway. It's so over for the Japanese. Attack Soul. Can take soul right now. Well, at least we're back to somewhat rational uh, front lines. Okay, we're taking soul, that's good. All right. It should be over. It's looking very over to me. And now we're gonna cross the Han River as well. The last really major obstacle to Busan. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not saying anything, because, yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to say. It's just, finally. Fucking finally. It feels good. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It feels really good. I think the Korean volunteers should have the honor of entering Busan first. By the way, uh, I love how it's called Chao Xiang Yong Dui. Um, Dui meaning core or you know military unit. Um, but 
and Yi Yong, I'm guessing, volunteer, uh, although I don't know the word. Uh, it's high time that we excise these parasites. The RCA is gaining back momentum. Mm. Anyway, what's interesting to me is the Chaoxian part, uh, the word that's used for Korea. Uh, it's currently Chaoxian. Uh, because actually, uh, in like standard Chinese today, Korea is Hanguo. But Chaoxian is the word that's used for North Korea, actually. So, interesting. I, I think it's like a more ancient name for Korea in Chinese language. It's Chaoxian. Um, but yeah, it's the name that is used for North Korea. So, we are using the name for North Korea to call our Koreans. Let's finish this. Damn. They are still able to resist pretty well. <laughs> no one's ever accused the Japanese of not being able to fight. There we go. All right, I think we can finally close this pocket and bring all of our divisions down. Very good. No, there ain't there ain't no way we're disbanding the liberation forces. I love the gall of Hearts of Iron and Kaiserreich to suggest you know, disband the liberation forces as something that we're ever gonna do. We will disband the liberation forces when we're in Tokyo. Although, it's mean. I would say the supply situation is certainly making it difficult for us. I guess we could not do a mad dash to Busan, unfortunately. What even in the flying fuck is this? It's so insane. Kenya? Oh, I guess we got encircled. Shit. Oh, I guess we got encircled again. Is this guy ever gonna move out? Fucking finally. There we go. Really? Really? Well, I guess they just brought in seven more divisions. I don't know, I guess try to build a port. 
These guys are just never dying. Well, I guess we're reforming a front line. Oh, but it's just so fucking... It makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. It was supposed to be over. I don't know how they held. Like, my troops just... My troops were just not winning battles. They were just not winning anything. Ugh. Time to buff my guys further. There we go. Okay. Without the sub armies, please. All right, just make a big old front line. Uh. Just make a big old fucking front line and just, you know, butt crush them or something. I don't know. Right, now we finally can use all of these fucking divisions. Entrenchment, uh, please. And there they go. I am just flabber fucking gassed at all of this. Uh, at least we're gonna have guided missiles <laughs> very soon. <laughs> gonna do some revenge on. <laughs> gonna do some revenge weapons or something. I don't know. No, probably should not prepare the operation to rescue my captured operative with my captured operative. That does not sound like the greatest idea possible. Okay, concealment. I mean, the air support is probably fucking us over. There. Are you going to tell me that there are no airfields in Korea? Oh, well, I mean. Let's build them, I guess. Let's build the fucking airfields then. There ain't no airfields. We are rapidly appro approaching the million man casualties. Motorize the fucking supply. Okay. Do the office plan on the entire army. I don't know. We just we just need we just need to be able to stabilize this fucking front in a position that makes any fucking sense, which I suppose this one does. Which is by the way very similar to Again, the Korean War. Are you not gonna be able to hold- What do you mean you only have two divisions in combat? I, I see like 20 divisions in this area. Just fucking send them in. Jesus Christ. Wait until everyone's got the planning bonus. How about instead of moving all over the place every 0.5 seconds, you just stand in place, get org, 
Jesus Christ. I just need the org. Just get org. My guys are just not getting org. It's uh, it's pretty insane. Well, okay. Time for counterattack. I would love to be able to push down to Busan this episode. I would love it. All right. We have a few more divisions than they do right now. Just a few more divisions, you know. <sighs> so the fact that you're telling me that this is not working is just very confusing to me right now. Considering the fact that we're attacking with six times the units. We're just gonna, you know, do it positionally. We're just gonna. How about you take this fucking tile? Holy shit! I'm starting to get mad. There we go. You know, I really hate the fact that they're just moving all the time. Flexible cohesion, rigid cohesion. Divisions will only relocate from very short distances in order to maintain a line. Hopefully this is going to make things just slightly fucking better, because right now I'm just... My brain is melting from all the units moving around. I mean, it, it's funny, it ended up being very Korean War. <laughs> like it, this war ended up being very accurate to the Korean War. It's just the slog down there. Like, it's just going down and... Uh... Oh, that was not the thing I needed to do. Um, interdiction? No, I need... Um... Centralized control. Yeah, centralized control. Let's do it. Okay. Not really useful doctrine considering I don't have any mechanized. They're pushing me back again. It is just so insane. Yeah, the air situation is fucking terrible. Maybe it's gonna be a little better once we do this. Can't wait to nuke you. Gonna fucking nuke you, Japan. You fuckers. You deserve to be nuked. Where's strategic bombing? You should target the port and the fucking railroads and the supply hubs. How do I see if they're actually doing it? Enemy support lost. Oh, we're just like, we're actually like smashing their air force pretty hard. Uh, but we're not bombing their buildings, which is rather unfortunate. I want their buildings bombed! Alright. Actually, this, uh, this air situation shifting 
seems to have improved everything. Wow. Turns out that when the enemy does not have air superiority, they don't fight as well. This is just such a nightmare. <laughs> And yeah, I think upgrading my engineer companies is also going to be incredibly useful because entrenchment, I mean, gotta love it. Holy shit, this is so ridiculous. Send these guys down there as well, I mean... We are so close now. We are so fucking close. I feel like the Japanese are pretty bloody weak at this point. Uh, why do you not have the ability to do air superiority? Nobody knows. Well, let's get you guys out so you don't take up airfield space. We are not bombing enemy buildings with the aircraft because, you know, cringe. Okay. This might be the final fucking offensive. We have a lot more divisions in the theater now. Yep, we have double the divisions. Not a little more. The issue is still the supply. Which, you know, makes more sense to have now, considering, you know... Considering just the amount of divisions that we've got in the field right now. My god. The Japanese are taking actually like insane casualties though. It is a bit ridiculous. They are actually taking such fucking insane casualties. Wow, they even have a unit on fucking Jeju? Really? It do be a bit ridiculous. And we have a bit of a Busan perimeter again. Come on. Come on, push forward. Actually got an encirclement on seven divisions. Good. Finally. I mean, now they're pretty fucked. They're just in too much of a confined space. They be stuck. They be stuck in too much of a confined space. It should be over. How are you not dying? Oh, they're on last stand, that's why. The bloody Japanese are last standing. Well, that's pretty typical. There we fucking go! Oh my god. <laughs> it is just so fucking good. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. <laughs> it took so fucking long. Uh, 2.78 million casualties, 1 million on our end. 
but the war seems to be over. The war seems to be over. No, there ain't no way I'm letting you escape. Also, why no fading sun? Why no fading sun, bro? Yeah, we have 60 divisions attacking them. Come on, die, die, die. Even the Mountaineer. It's almost over by Christmas 1943. Well, that was supposed to end up a bit earlier, but sure. Sure, we're gonna be happy with this result. The hero of the Iron Army. I wish I'd... I actually kind of wish I had uh, read that, because it sounds really awesome. The Iron Army. Gotta love Chinese army names. They're just not dying. Um, I am sort of concerned by this no fading sun happenings. Um... Yeah, I'm sort of really concerned. Like... Huh. Actually, to use my nukes, I just realized I need strategic bombers. Oops. Um, I have not done large airframes. Hmm. Well, we're gonna do- we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix it. It is kind of weird that the fading sun event is not happening. I'm really, like... Oh, there we go. 30 more. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah, the fading sun. So let's just let's just do the fading sun. But I definitely want these guys to die. Like I want I want you guys to fucking pay the price. There we fucking go. There we fucking go. Uh Well, Time to prepare to kill Tibetans. They say that Tibetans are just Japanese in disguise. And I'm just gonna wait for the event to actually pop. Because, you know, uh, for all the I want to nuke Japan, uh, maybe I can do that later, you know? Like, <laughs> there's no need to nuke Japan immediately. It's, uh, it's been quite the, quite the grind. I just want it to be over, to be honest. I just want it to be over right now. Get air superiority over the home islands, I guess. I don't know. Or go fight the fucking bombers. Come on. How long? How long until it pops? Five days. Five days until it pops. This does feel good, though. This does feel really good. Japan asks for peace. End of the Second Japanese War. Oh, I should have definitely read that. Well, you can go back and pause and read it. Ah, <laughs> uh, and we got Korea. Very interesting. Uh, why can we not declare the Liaoning is owned by left Guomindang or subject? It is. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. Uh, because we need to wait. Insulindia. Do you have ships? Yes. Okay. I guess uh, it's like all the other people that were at war with the British <laughs> got, to, or the British, the uh, with the Japanese. Uh, 
And there we go. Declare the unification of China. The white sun rises! <laughs> okay, that was more difficult than it should have been. Okay. China has been unified, but at a heavy cost. Thousands, if not millions, have died since the start of the world era. Families have been divided and countless displaced from their homes. Yet in the end, the Guomindang has emerged as sole victor, destroying or outlasting the half dozen or so factions that once dared to vie for national leadership. The party of Sun Yat-sen is all that remains now, proof that the claim of the revolution's moral superiority. The truth, as always it seems, is murkier. The party had banded fiercely together against foreign invaders and, f invaders and domestic foes united by nationalism and revolutionary promises. But even at the height of their accomplishments, there were cracks in the United Front and external threats receding, the party is as divided as ever. The people too have grown tired of the arbitrariness of de facto military rule, with an inconsistent application of civilian political structure and military governance across the nation. Surely the masses are grateful of unification and celebrate the imperialists slinking back into their homelands. But they have also made it clear that their unwillingness to bear further sacrifice without a clear vision of the future. Matters are coming to a head and observers are on the lookout for further instability in future political developments. As the party state works to clean up scattered resistance, a growing chorus of voices have demanded another special national congress held by the Guomindang, despite this time with full representation across the realm. And that is going to be for next time. Because, I mean, I think it's about time to uh, end it for today. We are going to... Okay, we <laughs> we are going to go with the third repatriated Congress. And, uh, well, I mean, I would have loved for you to not get the event out immediately. Anyway, the elephant in the room is the fate of Chairman Wang Jingwei, obviously. And we're going to see uh, what all of the things that we have done throughout, you know, the... Throughout the game, we're going to see how all of that plays out, I guess. Uh, we're going to see what government we end up with. Uh, we're going to see what kind of things they can do. Uh, and uh, hopefully, we're going to see also how we can continue our sort of existence as China. How we can finish the reunification. Uh, the bloody Kumokane as a non-aggression pact to the Japanese. Yeah, all of these guys have non-aggression packs of Japanese. I was kind of getting worried that that, that was actually them being... Um, I was kind of worried that that was them being... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, guaranteed by the Japanese. And I'm like, oh, again. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to see if we can finish off the campaign in a few more episodes with a special kind of bang. Uh, somewhere. Maybe here. Maybe a special kind of bang of the... Very special kind. As it should always have been in the Thousand, <laughs> thousand Week Reich series. We should have noked Tokyo. Anyways, I want to thank y'all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.